Maybe I'll cut it right there after I say hurry the fuck up. And then I'll leave y'all at a cliffhanger. A, a cliffhanger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Help him. Help him. Help him. Fuck. Go. Fucking press A, you fucking Steel Dragon 14. Fucking press A, goddammit. Fucking press A. Goddammit. Goddammit. There we go. Okay. Now, it is easy to fail at this. It is. And this is where I... No, no, this is not where I fail. I fucking hit the... Don't hit the red switch, because that makes the damn conveyor belt go faster. Goddammit. There we go. When he steps on a switch... Oh. Yeah, it also introduces where you can uh, control another character in a Zelda game. First time it introduces that, and then the next time would be in Wind Waker. This is where I mess up. See, so you could tell the change in the sound of the conveyor belt. That's where the cut was. So you're going to want to push that. You're going to want to pull that back. Uh, I think I messed up a little bit. Damn it, Steel. Damn it. Stop just standing there. Yeah, push that back. Then you're gonna wanna you're gonna have to hit the red switch. Then you're gonna wanna Okay, I'm just standing there like a shithead. Whatever, you're gonna wanna push it onto the yellow. Push it onto the motherfucking blue. Door opens as there's a wolf hole, so just do a spin attack. A spin attack. Kill him. You're done. You did it. You did it. Yeah, I had to do that twice in one recording. That really sucked. I was really mad for a just a couple seconds though when I failed it. Yeah, yeah, I got the sun's best best. Come on, fuck you, oh, bitch! I was yawning. Not yawning, stretching my arms out, and after that I tapped on the wall. Uh, cracked my neck. Cracked my other neck. Ah, uh, there we go. Yeah, I have two necks. Not really. That'd be weird. Because that would mean that I'm like. A Siamese twin conjoined to another person. I don't think that would be very. I think that, that wouldn't be very good. I'd be like very. You'd very be limited on a lot more shit. Yeah, but oh well. So you're gonna go to Clock Town. Clock Clock Town. Clock Town. I swore I cut this out. I forgot to cut this out. I guess. Because I had to edit this twice. First time, I wanted to record this post commentary. People got home. Second time, people are at the pool now. And it's my time to record. Fuck, I, I don't like the pool anymore. Like, I like swimming and all, but I don't. Just I just don't feel like... Burp. I just don't feel like going to that pool. Look, he's fucking bent over, taking it in the ass invisibly. Just someone's just like invisible. And he's just like, ooh. Just kidding. That's disgusting. Whatever. So you talk to him, show him this priority mail. And then he he um, continues his deeds as a postman. No matter what. We are the postman of America. And we get our hats on. And we deliver the goddamn mail. Whether it's life or death. Fuck. Fuck. We're gonna deliver your mail. And it's gonna get delivered. To the day we die. On our last dying breaths. We are the postman of America. Yes. Okay. After that little epic little speech. No, it wasn't epic. That little, little... Encouragement, not encouragement. I don't know. I guess that is the words of the postman. That is their their thing they their rules they abide by. I don't know. Okay, this is the part where in the top right corner I show how you get the second item. Little thing to watch while you're just watching me do backflips and shit. So yeah, you go in there, talk to the fat cunt with your uh, mask on. Cafes. Press start. Oh, I already have it on my seat. So you give her the list, your, not the list, the mail yourself. And bam. Get your last bottle. Has Chateau Romani in it. 
Chateau Romani, that makes it so you have unlimited magic for the course of three days. It is very helpful, but that is the most useless piece of shit Chateau Romani she could give you because there's fucking only three hours and 39 minutes to live. I don't know how much there were on that little top right screen I wasn't looking. But whatever. Just so she gives you it when there's only hours left to live and where it's most pointless. Anyways, for making him deliver to her, you get the postman's hat. So that's pretty good. Uh, next, you're gonna want to get your postman's hat on. Like that. Well, like, not like that. Then you're gonna want to go talk to a mailbox with it on, and then you get a piece of heart. What piece of heart is that? It's in the 40s. Um. I don't know, fuck. Let me think. Hmm. Uh, hmm. It's like 42 or something. I don't know. Okay, here I just jump around like a dumbass for a little bit. And then at like 2.30 I open that chest and then I cut off a minute. So yeah, it's just 20 seconds of me doing little jumps and shit. I go, I go back, a flip, a PS twipple. Oh no, open at 2.40, I guess. 2.41. You got a silver penis, Ruby. Oh, and this is where the cutscene starts. That silver Ruby was like one of the most useless ones of the game as well. I've met you before. What a familiar scent long, long ago. Yes, we were still young. We made a promise, didn't we? The mass of the sun and the moon. We were in this change on the day of the carnival time. How'd you solve this late, baby? <laughs> Welcome home. Oh, God damn it, why'd you have to go to a black screen computer? That was a scurry or anything. It's just fuck. I want to see this cutscene. And yeah. Tee hee! Our lovers! Oh, they just like a mother and child! Incest! Yay! Not really. Let us exchange the promised dildo sperm. Ah! Oh, that's gross. Ah! Oh. Anyways, after that, they put their two dildos together and you get a cum filled mask. What's well, covered in cum? We have exchanged our cocks and have become a couple. Ew! Ah! Ah! You are our witness. Yes. Please accept this dildo. <laughs> you got the couple's dildo. It's filled with their cum. Ah! Yeah, whatever. So after this, after these, that pedophile has sex with purple-haired Michael Jackson, we go back to the first day. Well, we kind of have to, or we're just going to die and lose the game. Link, what are you doing? Why are you just standing there, you stoop? Play the damn thing. Oh, yeah, I played that song so fast. Faster than anyone could ever play it. Not really. That'd be cool, though. I, I'm the uh, GameCube controller. Uh, fuck, 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 fuck. It's slower, isn't it? Because you have to, like, press the A button up there. I don't know. I don't remember what speedrunner said about it or something. I'm sure like uh Link Link five two six one would point it out. He like leaves the best comments. His are like really sophisticated and have to actually do with the video. He leaves the best comments, so I thank you for that, sir. You leave the best comments. Anyways, now we have one more thing to do. See look at all those. There's only four more mass spots. Why the hell is there four more mass spots? Wait, where the... F what the hell? Um, four more... Oh, oh yeah, there is still more masks to get. What am I talking about? <laughs> There's the... I'm gonna just say the names of the mask. I don't care. There's the Gibdos mask. So that's one. Um... Hmm. There's the Giant's mask. Hmm. The fuck? What the fuck else was that? Hell, I don't remember. Oh well. Um. Now, what you do here is you go to like any grass patch like that. That's in a specific circle. 
with your Keaton mask on, then a little Keaton will pop up. So, you tell him. You answer the questions. Now, Ashley did look up the answers for some of these, like that one right there. But, yeah, that's not cheating. It's just help, because I do not want to do it again. Four stories. There we go. The four swords. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, I already knew this. He's 35. See, there's like no cut there. So, yeah. And I knew this one was Lulu as well. So I need like three out of five of the questions. So, whatever. And that's our 17th art container. So, yeah. I'm going to end this episode off right here. In the next episode, we will go to the stone tower area and start doing shit there. So I will see you guys then.